What's up, everybody? Brothers, sisters, psychonauts, and seekers of truth. It is Anonka, and welcome to my bazaar. Today, I have a salvia trip report for you. The title of this trip report is Life of a Tree, and was submitted to Irawid in 2010 by the user Ficus. With all that being said, let our story begin. Hi. First, I would like to tell you of all the drugs I've done and some background. I'm a healthy, 180-pound, 17-year-old Mexican living in Arizona. The only thing wrong with me is that I have ADHD, which I think is total bullshit, but I'm not complaining. I'm being fed amphetamines for breakfast. I've done cannabis, which I very much do not enjoy whatsoever. Amphetamine, only Adderall, XR, and Vyvanse. Opiates and opioids. Tramadol, hydrocodone, oxycodone, morphine, and codeine. These are my favorite. Alcohol, another favorite. Lorazepam, good for when I get paranoid. Inhalants, which were fun, but not worth the damage it does to my organs and brain. DXM, I get really bad itches from it, even the welts. Pseudephedrine, might as well find a cook to turn it into meth, but I myself would never touch that. And last but not least, salvia divinorum. Well, the setting and time was casual my homie's house at around 3 p.m. We had recently purchased a gram of Salvia 10X for about $20. We were skeptical, and kind of mad because we thought we were ripped off, but we said fuck it and tried it anyways. 3 p.m. I take a huge rip of that whole half gram in the bowl. I held my breath for 30 seconds. I was looking straight at my friend, and all of a sudden my vision became scrambled and black, kind of like when I get up too fast or get tunnel vision. All of a sudden, I see a small, white speck, and it goes from the size of a period to a huge gaping hole, and my mind thinks, oh, I must be in a subway station. Wow. After I thought that, I felt like my body was holding on to the top of the subway for my dear fucking life while it was going 100 miles per hour. After what seemed to be forever, I came to the end of the tunnel at full speed, and I was blasted out like a cannonball. After I finally came to the ground, I thought, holy shit, I'm gonna fucking break every single bone in my body and die. But some mystical force turned me into a single seed. I felt like my body was encased in some kind of soft, warm thing, and I began to grow. I saw myself as a tree go from every stage, from sapling to a full, full full-blown giant tree. And I'm talking about the whole cycle of the tree, seasons and everything in the background. Winter, spring, fall, and summer. Feeling the changes in climate. It was just so beautiful seeing this tree in a meadow just live. But all of a sudden, a man came and chopped me down. But my spirit felt no anger or sadness. I just felt like this man has to do what he has to do. After this, I saw myself the tree, get cut up into a huge two-by-four and shipped out. Everything went black again. I saw myself just sitting, staring into space from the perspective of a wall. I was the two-by-four used to build the house looking at my human self with my spirit. It was incredible. After that, what seemed to be literally a lifetime was only roughly 15 minutes of this mind-boggling experience. 
After I sort of came to my senses, I had to relearn everything. I didn't know where I was, or who the hell was that man staring at me with complete astonishment. I kind of knew who I was, but I've read an article from Sigmund Freud about the human ego and self-identity, and I guess I broke mine. I could only move my hands a certain way, and my thoughts were just what I would think to be like a newborn being on this small planet Earth for the first time. After another 10 to 15 minutes, I finally had a good grip on my mind, and my friend asked me how it was. I looked at him, and I began to cry, and I told him it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Now, according to my friend, after I exhaled, I closed my eyes, and about 30 seconds later, I began to scream, whoa, like if I was on a roller coaster, which I believe to be the subway part. After that, he said I started to lean forward, and I fell on my face, and I somehow picked myself up, and my face expression was like if I was in complete awe. My mouth was open. My eyebrows were raised and my head was tilted up. Then he said I got up and fell on his bed, and that I was tossing and turning, and I had his bed sheets and blankets encased all over my body, which I believed to be the part I felt that I was planted into the ground. I would occasionally grimace or frown, and I would just mumble random sounds. Also, I got up a few times, but he gently tried to sat me back down. He would ask me questions, but he told me that I was completely catatonic. He said after the 15 minutes, I finally opened my eyes, and he said I looked so fucking confused, and I was moving my hands all weird. The after effects were subtle, but pronounced. I felt a very warm sensation all over my body. My head hurt only a little bit. My mouth was really dry. My palms and torso were sweaty. And I just had that feeling that everything is still different. All in all, this was the most spiritual experience I have ever had with any drug. I didn't have any euphoria, but what I got was something more than a three-hour high. I got the gift of my Mexican ancestors, of having a more positive outlook on everything. This happened yesterday, but today, my friend is going to try it too. He asked me if I would ever do it again, and I just smiled and told him, never again. May your life be filled with happiness.